guys, welcome to Verbling. My name's Joe, and today we're going to be speaking, talking, and writing about our goals for 2013, or just the goals that we have right now in life. Um, so if you're watching this right now, it's live, and um, some way I'm going to show you guys some ways to reserve, get reservations, so you can reserve spots in classes like these. So, this is what you're looking at right now, and if you look up here, it says get reservations. So if you click on that, it shows you a few ways how to get class reservations. Now the main way is to pay for it, which is it's only $25 a month and you get unlimited class reservations, but if you're low on money <clears throat> or you don't want to commit to that, then you can get them for free. And to do that, if you go to invite friends, you have a special link right here. And if you share that through your email, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tumblr, on, on any site basically, and somebody clicks on that link and signs up for Verbling through that link, you'll get a free reservation, which then you'll be able to use um, on classes like these, any, any one of these classes. Uh, even Spanish. So that's how that works. Um, a little bit more about me. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And <clears throat> I've been working for Verbling since February of 2012. Um, I go to school in Tucson, Arizona, which is towards the, source, towards the south near Mexico. Uh, about an hour from the border of Mexico. So that's where I am. Uh, the reason that I wanted to do this class was because I was actually reviewing my goals the other day and I thought, hey, uh, we're two months, almost well, three months into the year and maybe I can help you guys review your goals. Okay. Oh, hello. Ahmed. Hello, Joe. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, aren't you? Pretty good, thanks. Okay, um, so I think some more people should be joining right now. Because um, it says we have 12 people. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we should have maybe 8 more people um, watching and 4 more people, 5 more people can join. Um, so if you're watching this right now, you can click join. And then we'll get started. Okay, so I think three people are joining right now. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is fine. Good amount of people. All right, so hi guys, my name's Joe. For those of you who don't know me, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I go to school in Tucson, Arizona. Um, today, we're going to be speaking slash writing um, our goals for 2013 or just our goals in general right now. So if you don't have any goals, that's okay. And if you do have goals, that's good too. Hopefully we can review those um, just kind of to help you guys out a little bit. So before we get started, the first thing we're going to do is have you guys introduce yourselves by saying your name, what country you're from, and whether you have any goals right now or ideas for goals. So I'll go first. My name's Joe. I'm from the United States, and I do have a few goals in mind. So I've made um, a goal sheet uh, for this year. So we'll start first with Ahmed. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ahmed from Turkey. I have a few goals too. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, can you repeat the last part, Ahmed? I'm from, from Turkey. Okay. And uh, I have a few goals too, like you. Uh, I want to be a liner pilot mm, and I want to 
go around the earth. Go around the earth? Yes. Like like travel around the world? Travel, like travel. Okay. Oh, That's okay, enough. okay. All right, awesome. Cool. All right, next is we have... Is it wrong? Go around... Is what? Is it wrong? Um, so if you're talking about like in a spaceship, then you could say travel around Earth. But if you're talking about like flying to, I don't know, to the United States, to Asia, to Europe, to South Africa, etc., that's traveling around the world. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, um, next we have Ali. Ali, Ali Al Ahmed, Ahmad, are you there? Okay, uh, Brandon Chavez, are you there? Yes, I am. All right. Can you introduce yourself by saying your name, country, and if you have any goals? Okay, I I'm Brandon Chavez. I'm from Guatemala. And what more can I say? Uh, I'm so grateful for teaching this class. All right, awesome. And do you have any goals? Sorry, goals. Um, like, for example, my goal is to become fluent in Portuguese. That's a goal. Okay, sorry, but I'm. I can hear you. Can Can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah. You can hear me. Okay. Um. So goal. So here, what will um define it? But a goal is is something that you want or plan to achieve. Okay. Goal is like uh, what we want to do. Yeah, exactly. So, for example, you probably have a goal to learn English. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I I want to to go to vacations right now because uh, if you know here in Guatemala, it's a uh, holy week and Se Semana Santa. Uh, yeah, and everybody is going to the beach. It's, it's is going to the rivers and lakes and you know it's beach it's vacation and I want to go on vacation. Okay, that's yeah, that's cool. Um, here in the United States, we don't really have like, or at least at my university, we don't get um, a break for it. We just celebrate on Sunday and that's it. Um, but that's cool. All right. Um, next we have Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, my name is Charles. Yeah, I'm from Colombia. Okay. Mm, my goal is becoming a professional teacher of English and German. English and German. Wow, those are some cool goals. Um, all right, next we have Ishmael. Hi. Hi, Joe. Hey, Ishmael. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you, I am fine. I am hearing some background noise. I couldn't understand. The, so I, to... Yeah, I just wanted you to say your name, where you're from, and if you have any goals right now. Yes, I, I am Ismail from Turkey. I live in Ankara. I work as a uh, public servant. I have some goals. I I am planning after retirement to work uh, a little in uh, private sector. If my health uh, would be enough good, and I am going to. Uh, go around world and to meet different culture, different people. I am curious about uh, North curious Europe. 
About North Europe, okay. Yes. I want to see and meet different people. Okay, cool. That's really cool, yeah. Um, North Europe would be really cool. All right. Um, next we have Jarinson. Hello, Joe Hello. Harrison, I'm from Colombia. Harrison, okay, sorry. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm Harrison, I'm from Colombia. I live in a small town called Chigorodo. Wow. I'm a teacher. I teach biology. You teach biology, okay. Yes, I teach biology, and I want to learn English. Okay, I'm learning English because I would like to do a postgrade one time, once, um, Maybe abroad would be awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, that's really it. that's really cool. All right. Postgraduate degree or program. Okay. Yes. I'm agricultural engineer and I would like to do a postgrade in you know in that field. Okay. In that field. All right, yeah. That'd be a good idea. Okay. Um next we have Nas. Hi everybody, my name is Nas. Um, I'm originally from Algeria, I live in the UK. UK. Alright, cool. Uh, next we have Rasal. Hi Joe. I'm Rasal from Albany, New York. And, uh, my goal is to pass my TOEFL exam as soon as possible. Pass it as soon as possible. Good, okay. That's a good goal. Alright. Um, next we have Ricardo, or Ricardo, you just joined so your microphone may be muted. Oh, there we go, okay. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, John. Hello, hello, everybody. Can you introduce yourself by saying your name, where you're from, and if you have any goals right now? Okay, I am. Uh, my name is Ricardo. I am from Brazil, and I work with uh, information technology. Information technology. Okay. And do you have any goals? Goals. What yes. A goal is so. For example, one of my goals is to learn Portuguese. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I am learning English. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, next we have Selma. Selma, your microphone may be muted. Uh, yes. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, mm, I am Selma from Algeria, and as a human being, of course, I have a lot of goals, but I don't want to reveal that, all of them right <laughs> now in public. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can have, you can have personal goals that you don't want to share. That's that's totally fine. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think everybody introduced themselves. Um, yeah. Okay, so welcome everybody. We'll go ahead and get started with the class now. Um, if I mute you, it's probably because um, your microphone is picking up background noise because it sounds like right now somebody's microphone is picking up background conversation. I can't tell where it's coming from. Um, does anybody have any ideas? Okay, never mind. It's gone. All right. Um, so the the way we're gonna do this, so um, hopefully you guys saw the link that I posted. It was a Google Doc called Goals Setting Sheet. Um, should have been Goal Setting Sheet, but that's okay. Um, and so it looks like this. I'm gonna pull it up on my screen. So this is just a document I put together. Um, I kind of did some research, and so here are some some general areas. Um, of where you should or you can set goals. Um, so this is 
going to be this is what's called a template. Um, so I'll de I'll define a few words throughout this, um, but this is what's called a template. So um, kind of like a a structure um, for the thing that you're going to use. I guess I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. For example, this is a template because so you put your name here. You put your career goals here, health and personal goals here, friend goals here, family, etc. So it has the areas defined, but obviously it doesn't say, it doesn't have things filled out. So um, it defines places where you're going to fill out information. So that's why it's a template. Um, you'll also hear the word template used a lot with um, maybe like a website template, um, maybe a a word document template etc but that's what a template is so throughout this if there are words that you don't know ask and I'll define them for you and I'll list them up here define them up here um, but this is the template that we're going to be using so the idea of this is to help you guys practice writing in English um, figure out how to achieve your goals and kinda just get advice from other people in the class from me, um, from people outside of the class, etc. So, the way that you guys are going to be able to write in this is I'm going to share it um, and make it so that anybody who has the link can edit it, can edit the document. So, then I'm going to copy these. So, I'm going to copy this template and paste it um, for however many people we have in class. And then pick one, write your name. Um, and then um, I'll s you guys can ask me any questions and then we'll get started and just write um, and you can just go out and fill it out you don't have to wait and then as you guys are filling it out um, I'm going to look at what you're writing see if I see any grammar mistakes or anything that maybe isn't clear um, and after I do that, I'll write uh, maybe some comments next to it. And then after everybody's done, we'll go ahead and talk about it. Does that sound good to you guys? Teacher? Yes. Teacher, yes. I have a problem here. I, I kind of found, found this Google Drive. Yes, there is an app called Google Drive, which... Um, I'll, I'll open it and see if it, it works well. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, you can you can pause the. So can you guys see this, or is it just me using Google Drive? What do you, what do you, I am in. So what do you see right now at the screen? Do you see me waving my hands, or do you see a document? No. I see a document. No, I can see you. I see you. Okay, most see of you. you. Okay. Hello. But okay. I have a, I have that open in my separate tab. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So we can all look at it at the same time. The way that we do this is, so if you're looking at me and you look this way, you'll see different applications. You'll see chat, screen share, capture, verbling classes. And if you see Google Drive, click on it. If you don't, at the bottom it says View More Apps. So if you're confused, don't worry, I'm going to show you. So this is what my screen looks like. Over here we have Chat, Screen Share, Capture, Cameraman, Google Drive. This is what it looks like. If you don't see that, click on View More Apps, and it should appear. So does, does everybody, did everybody find that? It looks yes. like there are two people, um, Brandon Chavez and Selma. Okay, maybe they're not here, which is okay. Uh, the rest of you, it looks like, are in it. So, um, this is what we're looking at. Yes, Selma? Hi. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. And now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. I think I'm. Um, I am already 
inside the in that inside the that document? Yeah, that's fine. Um, if you want, you can look at it at the same time with us in the Google Hangout. You probably have it open in a separate tab, but if yeah. you go to the app on the side over here, then you can look uh, at it. Google, yeah. Google Drive, yeah. There you go. Uh huh. And then Brandon, okay. are you there? Yes, I, I am, but uh, I can hear you clearly. I don't know why. Maybe it's my internet connection. It, yeah, it may be if you're using a wireless connection, then it may be um, lagging, which means like it's slow. It's really slow. Um, but did you find the document or the Google Drive application on the side? I have the document. Okay. Good, good, good. That's the important thing. Okay. Um, so, like I said, um, go down, find a spot, write your name where it says name. You can just erase that and write name your name. Um, just like Rasal did right there. Um, and then you can go ahead and get started. So, basically, the, the idea of this is to practice your guys' writing skills, then I can look at your grammar and help you, and I can say, oh, you need to practice um, this phrasal verb more, or oh, you need to l figure out the difference between this adjective and that adjective, or something like that. So I'm going to try and give you guys tips on areas that you can improve on, and then also we'll be looking at um, the idea of uh, your goals and um, help you guys make some goals. So, does anybody have any questions, or do you guys understand what we're doing right now? Mm, teacher, can I ask something? Yes. I found difficulties in getting access to Google Drive, so can uh, okay. I use the other one? Yes, here, I will post the link for anybody that is having... Um, problems or difficulties you can if the Google Drive application isn't working or you want to open it up in a separate tab or separate window go to the verb link chat over here and click uh -huh. on the link that I posted uh, okay my computer has hung up <laughs> you couldn't do anything oh no okay um, this is why I try not to use the Google app. I think the Google Drive app is kind of fuzzy or doesn't work very well um, but if it's not working well open up the document in another window or another tab and go ahead and get started and um, yeah, I'm trying oh no okay it looks like somebody erased all of the uh, information I don't know huh. or wait okay it looks okay um, I'm not sure did somebody accidentally erase? What's going? <laughs> it's so confused. Sorry, Carlos. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, never mind. I think I'm in it, and I'm trying to write like the um do what you said to us. It's. It looks like it's working for you guys. So, because I see name Nas, yeah, I'm that's very me. okay. Then it's working. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, Harrison, okay, it's working. So I think it's working. So go ahead, write your name, and if you guys are not in the class and you want to participate as well, go ahead. Um, and oops, and that's it. Yeah. So does anybody have any questions? Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I have a question. All right. Uh, do we have to write uh, everything? What so uh, you don't. So if you don't want to make a goal, like like if like for example the category friends, you're probably wondering. Okay, I don't really have any have any goals related to my friends. You don't have to write anything there. You don't have to. Okay, and so uh, we have to write when we where we want, for example, family. If you we have a goal of family, just family or all the. Topics. 
So, so for example, they, they, I organize this in different categories. You have career, which you would write goals related to your career or job. Health or personal, goals related to exercise and health. So for family, you might write something like, um, I want to um, spend more time with my mom. Okay. Or yeah. something like that. And then say, sure. um, yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. But everyone has a, like a piece of paper here, but I cannot find my name. You have Joseph, uh, you have other names here, but I cannot find my name. I, yeah, did you write your name? Because I'm not writing the names. You guys are writing here, your name. Here there are some names. Is uh, Admet. Uh huh. There is Ismail. Okay, I get to write uh -huh. name. Yeah, just uh, yeah, Carlos. All you have to do is write, find where it says name, and write your name. Okay. And also another tip for when you're setting goals, it's. Um, it's better if you have deadlines. So, for example, Ahmed wrote, I want to be an airline pilot in a year. So he has a deadline for himself because if you just say, oh, I want to speak English better, okay, but you haven't defined what better is and you haven't defined when you want to accomplish that by. Because you could say, I want to speak English better, um, but you have to be specific and say, I want to speak English better by the end of the month the end of the year, etc. Something like that. So setting deadlines will help you achieve them um, and be more successful. So I'm just going to, while you guys are writing these, I'm going to go through, start from the top and move down and um, basically help you guys out with grammar, etc. Joe, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Ahmet, Ahmet. Uh huh. Uh, what's wrong uh, in the sentence? I can't understand. In a year, what do you mean? Um. So, you wrote, "I want to be an airline pilot in a year," right? Yes. So, what is your question? Is it wrong? No. You can say, um, it would be better if you said, I want to be an airline pilot, and then um, you put, uh, by, so you're setting a deadline, by March of 2014. So then you, that's your goal, so you're setting a deadline. So from now until March of 2014, your goal for your career or job is to become an airline pilot. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, airline. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, let's start from the top.
And don't forget to use commas and periods. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. So just look for comment comments. I'm writing them in parentheses right by your guys's goals and uh, your goal on your goal sheets. So look for those comments and then those will help you figure out what you can change or improve. Okay. So my comments are meant to help you guys flesh out your thoughts, meaning develop them more, rather than if you write one sentence, then that doesn't tell you or me or anyone else a lot. So the point of my comments are meant to help you write more um, and really think about your goals. And another thing, if statements are bad, <clears throat> so for example, one of you wrote, I'm planning to travel around the world if, if I get enough time and money for this. So goals, you don't want goals to be iffy, which means you're not really sure. So if you either you want to do it or you don't want to do it, and if you want to do it badly enough, then you'll save enough money and find enough time. So maybe save up your vacation days for work and then use them all during the summer and go traveling or something like that.
Okay, so how is everybody doing? Is is this pretty easy? Is anybody having trouble? Hello, Joe. A little, a little bit frozen, but I can do what I can. Yeah, just if this is um, if you feel can you like hear? yes. No, I can't hear anybody. Rasal. Okay. Um, so if you're having difficulties. If you're not, if you're like, okay, how do I flesh out my thoughts? How do I write more? Think about the steps that it will take to achieve these goals. For example, if one of your goals is to speak English better, the first thing you need to do is say, what is better? So that might mean, okay, when I'm in Joe's class, um, I want to speak better than everybody else, or something like that. So then you you might. Think about, okay, what are the steps to help me achieve that? One of them might be, okay, to speak better in Joe's classes, I need to practice at least two hours a week speaking on Verbling Friends or something like that. So that's another way if you're having, if you're having trouble figuring out what else to write. That's one thing you can do. And plus, the more that you write, the more that you're going to practice writing in English, which is a crucial um, key, a crucial aspect of becoming fluent in a language is being able to write it. Especially if if you're learning English and you want to, if you want to be a teacher, you're going to have to know how to write. If you want to um, use English at your job, you're going to have to write one day. Um, and it's just good because if you can write in English, then maybe if you find friends on Verbling Friends, then you can add them on Facebook and you guys can practice um, speaking English every day by writing to each other. That's one way. I do that with some of my friends yeah. who speak Spanish. Um. Is anybody else? <laughs> Hopefully somebody is okay. <laughs> okay, do you guys have any other... Or, sorry, not do you have any other... Is anybody having any issues or problems? Or is this is this okay? Is this going well for you guys? Uh, well, now... For me, the froze goes better, so I write as fast as I can. Okay, yeah. Don't worry if you if you're. It's okay if you're slow. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to write super fast. Uh, Um... <sighs> 
Okay. So everybody's doing okay? Thumbs up? No. No, Darcel, what's going on? Well, every time I try to enter the document, my computer just hung up and it's total, totally jammed, so I couldn't able to write any word except my name. Oh, no. Okay, um, well, if you want to try opening it again, and if your computer messes up again, then let me know, and you can write it on a like another document on your computer and then copy and paste it or something or you can paste it into the chat and I'll put it on for yeah, you. Yeah, I can try it in the chat because uh, my Google Drive is not working well. I okay. Think. Okay, that works. That that works. Jo, I am ready. You're ready. Okay. Ahmed, okay. Let me yes. find you. All right. Okay. Um, you saw first sentence. Yeah. So, um, for example, with your career goal, I want to be an airline pilot by March of 2014. That's a that's a great goal. Now, what are the steps to do that? So, how do you become an airline pilot? You probably you need to get a license. Um, maybe you need to go to school and get training. So, those are the steps that I'm talking about. So then you might write those. In April, I will uh, go to a school, uh, flight, flight school. Flight school, um, okay. Uh, for uh, personal pilot license. Okay. Then uh, I, I will finish first stage, PPL, first. personal pilot license. Ah, okay, okay, all right. First stage is PPL. PPL, okay. <clears throat> then uh, I have to uh, fly uh, approximately 17 hours in that play. Okay. All right. So you might want to write those. So you would, you might write like, I will go, I will. Um, go to flying school, flight school. Um, oh, so so you're right. I need. I will go to flying school or flight school. Um, in August of 2013 or something like that. So writing out those steps will help you just practice writing and figure out how you're going to achieve these goals. Does that make sense, Ahmed? Ahmed, are you there? Okay. Um, can any but can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Got a thumbs up. Okay. So I think Ahmed. I think his. Um, I think his connection. Okay, he's back. Ahmed, are you there? Okay, Ahmed, I'm guessing he's having some difficulties, so we'll get back to him when he comes back. Has anybody else, does anybody else need any help or any assistance? Yes. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I, okay. Uh, but my text is gone. <laughs> no, it's here. I think it's here still. It says Ahmed. Just, just a moment, please. Okay. Uh, I told you uh, first stage PPL. Yes. Second stage is. Uh, Flight hours 
uh, approximately seven hours. Okay. Third stage is a commercial pilot license, CPL. Okay. CPL. Yes. Then I have a. I want to. Uh, I will have two exams. Uh, for this, after this, um, airline transport pilot sense. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> I want to uh, the last stage in this in this uh, I want to go to Turkish Airlines Turkish Airlines okay Turkish Airlines okay so that's a that's a great goal so you just listed you just told me the steps to achieve this goal so the next thing you should do is go back to the document and go to your uh, go to your sheet your part and write those steps out. So your goal, your overall goal, is to become an airline pilot by March of 2014. So yes. the first step you said was PPL, right? Personal uh -huh. pilot license. Okay. So the first thing, so then you should write that. Um, I will get a PPL by. Um, I don't in know. In April. In April. Okay. April. In April. Good. Okay. And then the next part. Um, the next stage, which is flight school, right? In June, uh, I want to uh, fly 70, approximately 70 uh, hours in June. 70 or 700? 70. So, okay, Only okay. 70. Only 70. Okay, that's okay. After that. PPL, mm -hmm. I want to, uh, I have to fly. Approximately seven hours. Okay, okay. So in June, so then the next step, I'm I'm just writing this as you're saying it. In June, I will fly seventy hours. So that's your next goal. Uh, okay. First, uh, I want to say uh, I am uh, now I am a pilot. Okay. But, uh, I'm a helicopter pilot. Helicopter pilot. Okay. Uh, for plane, uh, I uh, I will have a bridge exam from helicopter to plane. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So, yeah, just writing out those steps. So, yeah, right now you have a helicopter, you're a helicopter pilot, so you've probably had to take a test and get the license for that. So, um, you can kind of use that to motivate yourself and encourage yourself. Okay, so I got this license, now I want to get this license. So you can say, oh, I did that, so I can do this. And then you just move forward and move forward. Yes. So just writing out these steps like this will help. I will get a PPL in April. In June, I will fly 70 hours. Then the next step, yes. and then the next step. Yes. So, yeah, you're, you're on the right track. Just go for it um, and write that, and then I'll take a look after. Next call? Yeah. Next goal. Um, I want to protect my health. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> In this time, this time. Okay, In so this, this period. So how? So maybe eating healthier. Uh, eating uh, and uh, make sport. Okay, and um, work. Uh, I want to quit uh, cigarette first. Okay, okay. Um, so you might write, so there, you should write, um, um, I will work out three times a week or something like that. So make those, so these, these are the steps that you need to make, Ahmed. You have the ideas of your goals, you just need to write out the steps to them. Does that make sense? Uh. I'm thinking, sir. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. I can't make uh, sports much. Uh, 
I'm so busy uh, at the job. Okay. And I don't have enough uh, time. Okay. So if you're really busy and you can't do that, then that's okay. You can't do it. Um, so then you, you maybe won't make that a goal. Take that out. But if you want to eat healthier, then you can do that. You could say, um, I will buy more fruits and vegetables. Something like that. Maybe, yes. Yeah, so that's I'm just I'm just trying to help you write out the steps to these goals cuz you have the idea I want yes. to protect my health. You just have to write out the steps that you want to do to achieve I'm those goals. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Thanks. Uh-huh. Um so travel. I want to go to England for a derby football match. Good. Liverpool FC versus Manchester United at the end of 2013. Good. Um so I just wrote some comments right there. Um, then the next one, if we go down, I want to speak English fluently. Good. I have grammar, but I don't have much experience speaking. Um, so um, for this goal, if you look at my screen, um, one thing you could do is use the friends. So if you do the friends and you put um, settings, or yeah, here we go, edit languages, um, I fluently speak other, and I'm learning English. And then hit save languages, and go back. Then you can find some people who are learning other and are fluent in English, and you can add them to your contacts and try and practice with them. So do you see that, Ahmed? Yes, sir. Do you, do you see do you see what I'm showing you right now? Can you see my screen? Uh, you. No. Yo, I can see, but uh, it's not uh, right. Fulio. How about now? You have to close the Google Drive, so click the X. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you look at my screen, um, and you go to Friends, so right now we're in Live Classes. So if you go to Friends up here, you'll see your profile, and you can add people to practice with, because... Um, you f you're fluent in Turkish, right? You're from Turkey? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. So then you're going to go over to settings, go to settings, click on edit languages. I fluently speak other, which would be Turkish in this case. Uh-huh. Yes. And I'm learning English. Yes. Then hit save, go to friends. You can add a little bit of bio about yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can see the other people who are the opposite of you. So, for example, Brad is learning Spanish, French, German, other. He's fluent in English. So then you can hit add to contacts, and then you can see when he's online, and then you, maybe you guys can practice. Or Marcus, who is a teacher. Um, or Danielle, or all these people on here you can see who are learning other and are fluent in English. I understood. Good. Okay, so that's one thank, way to... Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. So that's one way to, um, to do that. So um, I'm going to pull back up the document. And then you could set, um, Ahmed, also for your goal, you could say, okay, I'm going to practice English on Verbling at least three hours a week. So that could be a class, that could be speaking on the friends part, on the friends feature, um, or going to class. So one of, one of those two. Um, does, does anybody else, would anybody else like any help? I think uh, me, I'm on the top of the list. All right. Let me pull that up. Nas, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, um, I speak Arabic, French, and English. Good. Okay, 
Um, I will. So just a, f a few spelling errors. Um, but you wrote some good affirmations, and I gave you a f some advice. For example, the word manager is not capitalized. UK is capitalized. Um, countries are capitalized. It's a proper noun. UK is a proper noun. The United Kingdom. Um, these are good, though. I'm a very outgoing person. Um, and then goals. I like having um, new friends, so you don't need A. New friends around the world. Let's swap different addies and maybe visit them. What word were you? Uh, what is this word, Ness? Ladies. Ladies or ideas? Maybe. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ideas. Ideas. Okay, not ladies. Yeah. Okay, so ideas. So just a spelling error. That's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Okay. Uh huh. Um, to swap different ideas. So yeah. maybe you could try. Um. You should try meeting more people on Verbling. So, for example, one way you could do that is by going to your, your go to friends, then go to um, settings, go to language settings. So you said you're fluent in English, Arabic, and Mandarin, which is good. So if you want to meet other people, you could maybe put your learning um, other, because you'll find a lot of people, maybe Hebrew, um, Spanish and Portuguese and Japanese, and the more you put, the more chances you'll you'll have to get connected to other people. So if you hit save languages, then go to friends. You can see all these people who might be the opposite of you, and then you can hit add to contacts and practice with them and meet them and exchange ideas, etc. I would do that's a good idea actually. Yeah. Because if if you put and, um, Nas, if you put uh, if you put all of the other languages, so you can't put English, Arabic, or French, but if you put Mandarin, German, Italian, Russian, so you have all these languages that you're learning. So then, what you can do is, even though you're not learning Russian, you'll get connected to somebody who is fluent in Russian and either wants to learn French, Arabic, or English, and then you can help them practice, and at the same time, you can meet somebody new. And maybe share ideas or just speak to them and make a new friend. Yeah, sure. I would do that, actually. Yeah. That's a good idea. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back to your goals. Um, Hardworking person. Um, I like uh, to own money, go money to save to... Okay, so um, can you read this for me, Nas? Yeah, yeah. I'm a hard worker person. I like to own, own money. Sorry, I put go. I should take this one out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's I would okay. like to own money to save, to be up, to to buy and treat myself. I don't know how to say it. Like, I have to write like up. Okay. To be up. To be able? Able, yeah, able. There you so. go, there you go. That, no, that's okay. It's probably, maybe um, it's the British accent that's hard for you to understand it. But yeah, okay. able is like that, to buy, yeah. B-U-I, and to treat. Treat, yeah, treat myself. Good, that's a great goal. Okay, so I like to, here we might say um, have money instead of own. Um, so we'll put a period and then put I like to have money, to save money. And to be able to buy and treat myself. Um, so I, so we need here. We need the verb. I am a hardworking person. Um, so here, um, I might, you might add something like, um, okay, to treat yourself. How much money do you need to save per month? And then make a goal. And so you say, okay, I'm going to save. Um, Maybe twenty percent of my paycheck per month. Does that make sense, Nas? 
Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it does make sense. But <laughs> basically, in this country, you can't yeah, say to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to say like one person that could. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, it it is difficult. It is. I I agree. I get my paycheck and then I go spend it all. But it's that's that's the whole point of setting goals. So then, like for example, I have my goals, which I made um, two days ago. Or well, I made them a while ago, but I just. Um, I just now revised them, like I said earlier, and they're actually hanging right there on my wall. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there are my goals. So I've got them right next to my bed, so that way I can look at them all the time, because whenever I'm on the computer right here, I can just see, oh, there are my goals. Am I, am I working towards them? Um, so that's just a recommendation, to put them up somewhere, wherever you can see them all the time. So I think that's it. Um, for today since it's class is over right now but thank you guys for coming um, thank you for participating hopefully you knew, learned a few new words like affirmation goal template etc and hopefully you practiced writing and learned a little bit of where you can improve in your grammar um, and that's it uh, thank you guys for coming I hope you guys have a great thank day thank you so much you too yeah. See you soon. Bye. Thanks. See you guys.